So you are experiencing buyers coming to you with their pre-approval and saying, um, we're writing offers trying to get that buy down and it's just not working for them. They're not getting the offers. Is that what you're seeing? Yeah, I'm seeing kind of two things. I'm seeing realtors trying to coach their clients because the buyers are just reading online or they heard about buy down. So to, to their right, they're exploring all options. They want to make sure they're not overlooking anything. So they're asking their realtors and the realtors are looking for us to help educate them. Like, hey, can you put the numbers together for the buy down so that way we can see if this is something viable? And I will tell you that most of the time when I run the numbers, it's actually not even viable because of the purchase prices in the Bay Area. So one of the reasons is because the most of the purchases in the Bay Area are jumbo. So there's conforming and then there's jumbo. So anything about that 1.14 million loan amount, you're going to have jumbo and not all jumbo lenders. There's actually only a few jumbo lenders that will actually do a buy down. So that means that since you're not having the plethora of lenders to work with, you only have a few that would offer the buy down, their rates are typically higher. So when we compare just doing a regular purchase between the buy down with the jumbo lenders, you end up paying more. So even if the seller said yes to it, I actually wouldn't even advise it because you you will pay more, you know, with the current pricing. So a lot of times it's not even applicable. And then, you know, right now, just trying to get a seller to agree to that, it's slim to none. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the number one goal for us and our clients is to get them the home, the home that they want. And, yeah. you know, so then we can kind of maybe go down the, down the road and re-strategize if that's refinancing when rates drop, then that might be a better option for them. Exactly. It's always kind of the joke in our industry where people say you can have the best rate possible. If you don't have a house with that rate, what good is it? Right. So yeah. it's really one of those things where you just have to do what you need to do to get in. It will always get better from there. But if you wait around for everything to be perfect, or you're so scared of the rates that it prevents you from getting in and keep in mind, I always run the numbers for people as far as just getting in and starting to build equity, you know, the right. average equity build, if you get into anything right now, give it five years, I mean, you're going to gain a couple hundred thousand in equity potentially. Mm -hmm. So do you want to lose that just for waiting around for a rate to go down a percent? Right. You're losing money. So right. 